This review's on the movie Trust No One. I'm the anger guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. Director for the film Trust No One was Darren Nimero. The cast was Douglas Ruard as Doug Bradley, Britton Purvis as Ryan Bradley, and Charles Justo as Dr. Andrew Aiken. The film is about Officer Bradley, portrayed by Douglas Ruard, investigating series of murders. Bradley doesn't want to admit it, but he believes he has a serial killer on his hands. Bradley just can't figure out why the bodies are adding up and there's still no clues to be found. He doesn't want to, but he goes to his brother Ryan, played by Britton Purvis, for help. Because Ryan did covert operations while in the military. What can I say about this film? <sighs> hey, the aerial shots on the film were beautiful. They really were fantastic. The photography, lighting, sound, choice of locations, and the editing was worth about one million dollars, which was a budget. What really drove me crazy was the editing. For example, Officer Bradley goes to a house, knocks on the door, no one answers. He hears glass breaking in, in the back of the house. He goes back cautiously with his weapon drawn, hides behind a post with an open bird feeder dangling above him. Next scene, I seen Officer Bradley driving down the road in Torino. I watched it twice and still didn't understand what the hell happened. Another time, a young lady comes out of the store and hands off to Bradley a cup of coffee, which he is sitting in his car. After giving him the coffee, she walks away. No problem. Bradley, being disgusted about not catching the vicious killer, he throws a cup of coffee out of his car window. No big deal. Next shot, the camera is in the air looking down at his car as it begins to pull away from the curb. The street is wide and clear of cars, but the coffee cup and spillage magically disappeared. Poof! This one is not so much about editing. It's about director's choice of location. When I seen this scene near the beginning of the film, I knew right then and there I will never see the inside of Officer Bradley's house. Bradley and his wife was in their small kitchen. Guess what? It's Christmas. Where do you put a Christmas tree at? in their small kitchen. That way they can't get into the cupboard to the left of the tree and they can't get into the drawers on the right of the tree. No wonder he hasn't caught the vicious killer yet. Okay, let's get down to it. I will not blame the acting for my rating. I will blame a little on the script writing, but not so much. I just hope they make enough revenue on this film to cover the budget of the film. I really do then it would be a great experience for everyone and another item can be added to the resumes. Then everybody wins. Out of 10, I give this film a 4. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Can I tell you something? I admit this film had a lot of problems, but it didn't make me angry like some other films. So that's why I didn't say this film stinks right at the intro. I restrained myself and wanted to show some respect for the actor. Thank you.